My name's Yorick the Malkavian, and I have found myself within a crack house. And I only know that because that's what it said when I saved the game. This is a crack house. See? Typical apartment building. Ah, welcome, brother. I see you have been in Latin. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? You've come to the right place, brother. We got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> ah, the disease-written demagogue, who sounds exactly like any other churchgoer. <coughs> <coughs> ah, disease. Brother, you've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shed these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. Tell me your name, Plague Bearer. They call me Bishop Rape, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, brother? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Do your days also end with Gehenna? Gehenna! Judgment Day! The Apocalypse again! Brother, you are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason, no all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, brother. There is no God who tolerates such a thing. And so I have become God, and the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. <laughs> Until we have all journeyed below into the night city. Your vision is more twisted than my own. Turn from this path, Dark Bishop. The time for words has come and gone, my brother. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. Can't we let words fight this battle? I'll assume not. The fucker. I don't know if he's a Tory or what, but... He's got celerity and he has guns. And an army of zombies. Don't forget the army of zombies. Oh, I can't stay here forever. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. Get him, Tex. Now, Bishop, you're hiding behind all of your minions, like a coward. Uh, uh, e no! Damn zombies. Well, if there's anything I learned, there's only one cure for zombies. I let her shotgun blast into my back. I don't like about that. Is there any way I can shoot these zombies? Son of a bitch! Hey, shoot him in the head. Oh, come on, Bishop. You can't shoot through the damn chair with a freaking shotgun. I really didn't think that this would be so effective on the zombies. I really, really didn't. Not this little cap shooter. It's good that the Bishop doesn't feel like a vampire. Even though he is one. Anyways. 
Bishop, I just, I know exactly what you need. Not much you can't solve with that shotgun. Anyways. I don't see anything of particular value inside this place. Hey, new level of aspects. Last hole in the hole four seconds longer now. I love it. Then we just auto leave the building. I guess our work is done. Hey, even that guy's gone. Even though we can go back in. I wonder if that lady's still at the bottom floor. Bustling robes of the Reaper. Yeah, she must have took the hint. Although someone's still back there. You can hear him coughing along. Anyways. Let's go tell Damsel that the Plague Bear has been dealt with. And then we can tell the Wizard King. CDC is still chilling though. I guess it takes a little while longer for that to go away. Ugh, Cammy. Uh, the king of the carrier pigeons and all his filthy chicks are finally extinct. You killed all of them? You. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Yeah. Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Hmm. You are a thorny and fire-breathing damsel, but I would still rescue you. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's got a lack of restraint to keep their mouth shut. Maybe. See you, damn so. Nines, I haven't talked to you in a minute. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. Hmm. What is the sum of nines? Came to California to get out of the Dust Bowl during the 30s. Been fighting this fight since the 40s when we kicked out the cam. I was new to it all back then. Not a whole lot of people from those nights still around. And some of them are. They're just not anarchs anymore. Tell me of the Angel Hello. City. It's always had problems. Always had a mean streak. Earthquakes, fires, riots. And for the Anarchs, the Camarilla, the Sabbat, the Quay Jin have all tried to steal it away. People say these nights are bleak, but then, haven't they always been damned? Could you transplant your roots somewhere else? Seems like all the dreamers, the misfits, the pioneers all drift west. After LA though, it's all Pacific. Maybe we all just collect here when there's nowhere else to go. But a lot of us like it here, and we fought to keep it ours for a long time. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to kill, but I doubt it. Well. Hey, Skills, are you got anything now? So. Yeah? Yeah? Who do you want to know about? You mean college girl over there? <laughs> to be honest, she reminds me of those miserable stateside protester fucks from when I was in Nam. But she's on the right side in this one. Don't let the hippie vibe fool you. Honestly, I didn't see much of a hippie vibe in her. She's a bit too aggressive, and hippies 
for some reason, are usually a bit more mellow. Anyways, I am no longer here. Hey Jack, what's up? So I heard you and Nines had a run in with the Sabbat, huh? Well, you let them go. Nines must be getting soft. How can you pass up that kind of fun? Why does Nines, you know? Why does Nines keep saving this little fly? Well, well he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. And perhaps I am merely a pawn to be played with by this street prince. You're free to choose who you trust, kiddo. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. What's on your mind? Tell me of the hapless humans. What about them? Do you concern yourself with kind? What do I think of humans? I don't, really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> you know, if one got killed, I bet you didn't cry, but you know, you're not out there slaughtering them for sport either. Good point. I'm no longer here. Let's go see the Wizard King. He might have some treasure for us. We did complete a good deed. We already got experience and a redemption, even though we never use the damn things. Which is a real shame. I probably should have broken it a couple of times, even though it's really hard to do as a Malkavian. You basically have to feed on someone in public a couple of times. It usually results in other things, like assault charges. And guns, and shotguns, and all pointed at my head. And I can only get my head shot off three or four times before I start running out of personalities. <laughs> Lay off the harsh lessons, Wizard King. The students are crying. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Might we trade words, Wizard King? Of course. I broke the withered horse of pestilence and his dark bishop in the grave. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Bishop Vic sat upon the withered horse. Tell me of this so-called bishop. Dude, he was right across the street. Did you not notice? There was a crack house right across the street from your school. God damn it. He wished to close the curtain on our cursed drama. Hmm. I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. What treasures? If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. Magic item. Magic item. A wise decision, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. I am no longer here. Sweet. What do you do? All cringed have the innate power to push their undead bodies to the height of mortal capacity, but only for a moment, at dire cost of blood. This Eldritch Talisman is crafted to boost that ability. Blood Bluff has twice the duration. And that is awesome. Oh, the, the height of mortal capacity? Like, if I'm blood buffed, I should be juggling cars. I'm pretty sure humans, mortals, can't do that. Like, even Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime couldn't do that. You think it's hilarious? Nah. Why would the lady even hear him? 
Anyways, speaking of hard currency, it's been a while since we've been to our church. I'm sure we have lots of bills and Jacksons and presidents to pick up. Also, maybe there's someone around the corner here. There is not. Go ahead. Oh, fledgling. We are no longer fledgling. We are neonates. Which I thought took at least a couple of years. Money, right? I've got your cut right here. Ha, ah, diggity damn. May the pilgrims never cease paying tributes at your temple, goddess. 125 still? Not bad. I could get a lot of boom shells with 125. Probably about 30 or so. And hell, Vic only took six. Granted, I get the shit out of him. Ah, a pretty lady. Buy a, watch. Buy a watch? Okay. I mean, I could. I got a lot of money. I'm the undead Rockefeller. That's what my wallet tells me. $1,800. Hmm. A museum which we can't get to. Alistair Grout seems to be the only lead we got going for us. It's a really good hey, scholarship. What is my research for? Can I read any of those books yet? I need a research of five. No, I do have a lot of treasure items I could get rid of. I'm gonna sell that knife. That's like six bucks I can pick My up. My man, what is up? This guy's gotta be one of my favorite merchants of the game. He's just so chill. Have a knife. Have some rings. A watch. I don't think it'd be a good idea to sell him a blood pack. He'd probably be like, why do you have this? Like, don't worry about it, bro. Might as well. Wasn't there a gun? Hell yeah. I had no idea this would be so useful on those vampires. Or, uh, zombies. I really didn't. Like, it makes sense, shoot them in the head, because they're zombies, but... I don't know, I just didn't expect that to work in an RPG action. Anyways. We have exactly one quest open to us, and that is of Alistair Kraut, the Malkavian Primogen. A.K.A. Grandpappy. And what do I find in the mansion of an insane madman? Well... Probably things that make me feel at home. Until then, farewell, vampire.